So you guys want to hear my little theory on why it takes forever to change clothes in NBA 2K18? We already know you got to wait for the Spinelli cut scene. You got to wait for the elevator to load up. Then you got to wait for the closet. Don't forget you might get a random be fresh cut scene. Then after that, you got to wait for the elevator again. And ain't nobody got time for that, right? But take a look at this. The stores are literally in and out. You get one little quick cutscene, and then you pay your VC. I think that's basically 2K's whole reasoning behind that. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking too into it. Cool. Look at how quick this cutscene is. Once you get done with that, all you gotta do is just slap on what you want, unless you wanna try it on like I'm about to. But look at how quick that is though. I think I might rock some jeans. For a small fee of 2K VC, you can skip all that extra extra by going to your my court and just go into a regular store. <laughs> wow. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jin To. Rookie vs. Rookie, your boy, Jin To, against the number one draft pick, Markel Fultz. Okay, Fultz, show me what you can do. Show me what you can do, Fultz. Okafor, you got this good... What? Why does that happen so much? Let me get a defensive play, right? Let me see some defenders, right? Literally just have their hands down without even trying. Can, can I get a play like that? That happens way too much for my CPU. So if that's happening a bunch for me, I know that's happening a bunch for you. I want to go for some tireless shots. Oh, good block. But you know what I want more than tireless? Some hot spots. Oh, no good. And that's the shot damn. To Did I not get difficult shots on Hall of Fame? Two-point game. Man in motion, man in motion, man in motion. Simmons on Kawhi. Now, this is what gets me upset. The CPU scores over Kawhi like he doesn't have crazy defense. Damn, Fultz went down. The number one draft pick just got his number one ankles broke. Yo, can't let a highlight like that go to waste. Can't let a highlight like that go to waste. Let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David it's funny, man. If Lonzo didn't already commit to the Lakers, do you guys think he could have went first? Lonzo, his fans, well, not even Lonzo. When Lonzo ball, when his name gets brought up, it's always a mix. It's never like 100%. Yeah, this guy is. What? You got the Lonzo haters and you got the Lonzo fans. Lonzo fans already calling him rookie of the year. Lonzo haters. Every mistake he makes, they, they're waiting to just rub it in his face. They're waiting. Stay on Simmons. Look at this. Heavily contested. Three-point game. Here is our chance to stretch that lead. Are they going to come with the doubles? There you go. Don't play D then. Leave me that room. That's what I want. Leave me that room. Come on. That's a block. That's an easy block. <laughs> Man, that should have been a block. That should have been a contested, heavily contested. Flashy pass to my boy, Shammy Wells. Damn. Step back, move. I'm pulling up. It's a green. <laughs> Mr. Nyquil got all these boys sleeping. Good D, good D. Another one contested. The Hall of Fame CPU does not miss contested shots. Unless I'm on them, which is, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. 
And one. And one. Yeah, 42-37. Not much happened in this second quarter. Damn, I can't buy a basket. What happened? Ever since we sat on that bench, oh, jump ball. So it's the Spurs now. Spurs leading by five. Come on, Fultz. Where are you going, Fultz? Come on, Fultz. Another one on this man. Get that, get that, get that, Patty. Hell yeah. You know I want some more hot spots. You know I want them hot spots. Yeah, Fultz ain't going to pop that three. Seven point game, 40 seconds left. Good D, good D. Oh, they never miss contested. You got to get lucky if you want the Hall of Fame CPU to miss. It's such a habit for me to attack the right. I don't know, man. I don't know. It might just be all in my head. But it's like the right is naked. Flexing after that mid-range shot. Oh, and one thing, man. If you're grinding for some rep in these my career games, you definitely want to run the pick and roll. You get so much XP. Just for using a pick, I think every game I get like 9k XP just for running pick and rolls. Now here's some cheese. Gasol's on fire. So you know what I'ma do? I'ma chuck up a flop to my boy! LaMarcus Aldridge, filled with rage. Ah, man, I didn't want to hit. I wasn't looking for the three. They do that too often. I wanted to hit Kawhi. Oh, man. Man, watch they pop a three on us. Eight point game. Oh, he's wide. How did I know? How did I know? How did I know they were looking for a three? Here's G. He has 35. Off the screen. I know the community is feeling some type of way about contested shots and defense and stuff like this, but look, hold up, hold up, hold up. In what world would this ever be considered a heavily contested good defensive effort by this man right here? Look at this. You can't even say Kawhi's man is playing defense. He's locked up. He's locked up. Look at that space. My defender right there is literally staring at me. Come on, 2K, fix your game. Oh, wow. Look at that morph. That morph was crazy. That morph was insane. They're going to... They, they got to drain the three right here. Watch. Watch they drain the three. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and one. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Angela Loga for the third overall pick. Man, Hall of Fame gets so predictable. It's not even funny anymore. Let's go, Kawhi. Come on, Kawhi. Right back at him with an and one. JJ buckets. Now it's a one point game. Aldridge is in foul trouble. I only have one foul, which is actually surprising. I'm usually the one that's in foul trouble. Look at Forbes. Aldridge, what you doing in the corner? I want to get Kawhi in here. Like, I'm still trying to rack up these assists. There you go, Kawhi. There you go. Finally, Kawhi's dunking. Feeds it to Reddick. Four on the clock. Three, two, one. No way. Woo! That was a little too close. Uh-oh. I'm all the way with this one. Gotta take it all the way. Five-point game. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Another one. Why not give it to my boy? Oh! No, 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 no. He misses his, too. Why not? I'm hitting tireless shots? That's 40. 
following the bucket by the Spurs. And it's Oka for Be great. And right, now my boy Kawhi wants to step up. That's what I was waiting for this whole time. Now he's playing with confidence now that we got some type of leverage. No way. If dudes just staring at me is considered heavily contested, what do you think that was considered? <laughs> oh, faults, one-on-one, -on -one, plenty of space. Ooh. Got faults stumbling. I've been attacking this man's angles the whole time. Nice. Kawhi be great off the flashy. Now he's hitting everything. Where was this Kawhi in the first half? Where was this Kawhi hiding? I'm surprised they didn't go for the foul. Okay. I thought they would foul us, but hey, I guess they already gave up. Nice win, boys. Whew. We didn't finish with our trip dub, but we still got that W. A W is a W. Can I get some it's too deadlies for them angle breakers on the number one draft pick? We even got one contested mid-range shot, so hey, I'll take it. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you're ready for some more My Career Gameplay, slap that like button for your boy Gento. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Fantastic game. Listen, Ernie and the guys want to talk to you at the studio. Let's do it. You know the drill. Hey. Hey, this is Shaq. I want to say you look like one of the greats out there how you played tonight. Woo. Did you feel like you were in complete control of everything going on in the game? Shaq, I look like one of the greats because I am one of the greats. Shaq, you and all the other legends should be worried because I'm coming for all the records that I can get. Now, out with the old, in with the new. Now, that's just how it works. You know what I mean? And I may be coming for the rap game, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, DJ. I don't have nothing to say, Ernie. These young kids, I tell you.